Hello everyone, it's time for another drop sale. This one is all cookbooks, but we're going to go in the opposite order on this one. The two higher price ones will be the first ones and then they'll go in decreasing prices. I have two for ten, I have different ones for ten dollars, five dollars, and some for three dollars. If you wish to purchase one, just put it in the comments, the letter of the one that you want, and I will see to it that you get it. You do, if you've never bought from me before or haven't in a long time, you will need to email me your name and address and what email I should use for invoicing you through PayPal. These prices do not include shipping, but they will all go media mail, and so that is a bit cheaper because books be heavy. So don't mind this. This is because... It, over the years, has lost some, yet I can't get the other stuff off to get a nice wood countertop back. So this is a project for another time. So the first thing I have is a Margaret Rudkin Pepperidge Farm cookbook. Now, the plastic cover ripped when I tried to clean it. Blasted little thing. And this is in very good condition. I mean, look at these illustrations. So colorful and crisp. And this is from the, this is the Grosset and Dunlap edition from 1970. The original copyright was 1963. So this is a new edition for 1970 with a different illustrator doing all of it. And you can see... There are fun little illustrations hidden on every page. There's illustrations in the margins. So this one is $10, and it is letter P. P for pepperidge. Letter P. The next one I have is the original Fanny Farmer cookbook, 1896. This is a facsimile of the first edition. Now this one, again, this plastic is getting brittle, this clear plastic, and those words are on, and you can see like somehow it went through a little bit, but those words are on the plastic. And this one, because for these bigger ones, dates matter, um, this is a first edition, focus, there we go, from, oh, you fools, you didn't say? <coughs> How could you do that to us? So this is a first edition of the reprint of the 1896 one, but I don't know what year because they were foolish and did not tell me. It is a good, clean copy. I did not find, there are some copies of, of pictures in it, but I did not find any writing or marks in this one. It's in good shape. This is $10. $10, letter O. Now, now we get to some $5 ones. I have to move my note of prices where I can get to it. So we have a Sunset Cookbook. This is a French cookbook. And this one is $5, and it is letter L. You know, like that, like that, letter L. Sunset French Cookbook has great pictures. If you want to try different things. Uh, now, there is some watermark at the bottom, um, but I, I did look these up and have compensated the prices in case there was any issue. So somebody probably was cooking and spilled, spilled their French wine. So the Fr Sunset French Cookbook is $5, letter L. Then we have a Better Homes and Garden Menu Cookbook. Now there's a little fading on the spine, but the cover is beautiful. So wherever this was, the spine got sunlight, but covers front and back did not and this one again um, I did not find in leafing through I'm not going to say 100% that there's 
I didn't go page by page, but I believe it to be in very good condition except for the spine. This is $5, and this is letter C. $5 letter C for the menu cookbook. Gives you a guide for making a nutritious menu, and then gives you all the recipes you would need for everything from the salad to the dessert. The next one is another Better Homes and Gardens, and we could all use this these days. Good food on a budget. You know what I really liked about this? Is the inside cover. It tells you what the serving sizes would have been in a way that you understand. <laughs> Not by ounces, but by actual, you know, so four servings would be for, for different things. Oops, you know, bleh. I'm tongue tied tonight. It's been a long day. But it gives you stuff you can relate to as opposed to all of it being in ounces. Now, they do, when they get down to the vegetables, they do it all in ounces and, of course, the fruit. But it was so helpful to have some of it not be. Um, but this one is really nice. I had to laugh at the unit price chart. Can we see those prices? I laughed my head off at that part. But it does have some really good, simple... Now, there are a couple spots where there's a pencil mark that says try, but I think I found three of those. Those were the only marks I found. It really, in these times of tight budgets, not a bad book to have. I have one, it was my mother's, and I love it. So this one is $5, letter A. Now, I no longer have a blender, so I don't need this one. And this one, you could see how the words, like those are nice and black, and then those words look a little faded as it goes down, yet the cover's are in good shape. And let's see, this one is also nice and clean. And I love the hurry up vegetables. They crack me up. Uh, never would have thought of doing them in a blender like that. Blender cucumber salad. I still won't eat those cucumbers. Cucumbers hate me and I don't not a fan of their taste. I do get a kick out of the tropical hot chocolate. I so would love to try that, but I don't think we still have a blender in this house. So, the blender cookbook is $5 and is letter H. There we go. $5 letter H for the blender cookbook. Now, we have, uh, we have several... Let's try switching hands here. We have several... Uh, $3 books. Now this one is Shake, Rattle, and Boil, Make the Holidays Hum, and it's supposed to be favorite family recipes from America's top restaurants. I have no idea who Calphalon is. This is Gourmet Magazine, and then Bloomingdale's. They present this, so I don't know what restaurants they were doing this for. Oh, okay. So they give you, they give you the name and location. Like there's one for Connecticut. There's one from New York. So it is in good condition. The binding is still nice and tight. There's not any creases on the binding. Um, so shake, rattle, and boil is three dollars, and is letter. R. Three dollars, letter R. Now we have the Kitchen Library French Cooking Book. Every single recipe is illustrated in color, and it is. Everything has a nice, beautiful picture that, uh, I love these cookbooks with these pictures, but you know they don't always come out looking exactly like the pictures. Now the only thing I found is there's a little foxing starting here. And you can see that looks like an oil mark on there. I've seen those marks before. So I think that somebody 
That's water does not make a mark like that and it doesn't turn yellow. But when you rub it, nothing comes off on your hand. So that one is because of that, that one is three dollars and it is three dollars and it is letter N three dollars letter N. Now we have this one. This one I'm letting you guys have. It is Creative Cooking from Hungry Jack. I did not find a year on this one. My mother swore by having like biscuits and stuff. And um, so they have everything from main things to muffins to breads that you can make with Hungry Jack, which I always thought was just for pancakes. Surprise to me. So this is $3, and this is letter E. Three, and I, I, could say, I could not find a date. It's in very good condition. Um, everything's nice and shiny. The spot that's here, that little bit is from the staple, and there's a little watermark right there. But, that's from, but the staples are not rusting. So that's that. Now this one, this one looks like it just... Look at the artwork on the back. I did not find a date on, I know I did find a date on this one. I did. It's the uh, 1960s. Here it is. 1961. I don't think anybody's ever looked at this. I mean, everything is shiny. That glare you see is the shine coming off the paper or the pages. This thing looks like it's brand new except that slight bit of fading down the spine. This has been on somebody's bookshelf in between things, and the only thing that was affected was that, and I don't think they ever used it. Look at the shine on that cover. I, honestly, it's other than that fading line, this is in fantastic shape. So, for the recipes from the famous Tabasco collection, and everything from deviled eggs to guacamole to lobster a la Newburgh, whatever that is, deviled seafood. The Tabasco cookbook is $3 and is letter S. Now we have, where did I put them? I lost them. Hang on. <laughs> Oops. There we go. I have Bon Appetit magazine put out a cookbook as a magazine. And this is 350 fast and easy recipes. This one is from 1992. Now Bon Appetit does have some fabulous recipes in it. And this is absolutely packed with them. Um, everything from Gouda and red salad pizza to linguine to simple things. I was going to say simple things and I get to the page that says lamb, but tenderloin, um, bone with short ribs, potato salad. It's, it's got a lot. It's just packed. So this is $3 and this one is letter Y, $3 letter Y. And the very last one, if I had them all, I could make some money. But individually, that doesn't add up. So this one is the only one I have of the Illustrated Library of Cooking. The spine's in good shape. The cover is nice and shiny. There is a little curve. Can you see it? There's a little curve to this. And this one is $3. Don't fall off the pile now. Come on, cooperate. So again, beautifully illustrated. Uh, you know what I love about this one? is like this overflowed in the oven and they left it in the picture. Nowadays, they would have taken all that out of there and tried to make it look 100% perfect. But they were getting real here. You ever seen those old things and wondered what they were for? That is for uh, pilaf or gratin served in little scallop shells, individual sized scallop shells. Now, whether those are real shells or not, I don't know. They don't look it. 
they have some great stuff in here. So this is the A to Z's, which gives you professional tips. Let's see if I can find the... So volume one basically goes through all these nice, and I have already read all these. I did learn some things. Um, it goes through all of these basics that everybody needs to know. And then it has a few classic recipes from the different regions of the country and then does appetites and hors d'oeuvres and beverages. And then and this one tells you what all the other volumes have if you want to know and look for a specific volume if you can find it. Um, but that's what this one has. And so this is $3 and this is letter Z. Z right there. Letter Z, $3. So thank you very much. If you like what you saw and want to see more, please, by all means, subscribe to my channel. I also have memberships. I have basic night owl membership, which gets you shout outs and special emojis to use in the chat. Um, and that is uh, $1.99 a month. And then there is a $4.99 a month, which is the fairy realm, which gets you all the same from the first, but it also gets you all the drop sales 24 hours before everyone else does. And it also gets videos that are just for the members, that only the members get to see. Um, and then there is the fairy queen level, which is $14.99 a month. And what that does is there will be one-on-one -on -one scheduled time. You get everything the, the lower uh, levels get, but then with that one, you can have once a month a one-on-one, -on -one, one hour talk with me. We can spend it talking or um, I can help you research something you own. I can help you give tips about downsizing, even though yes, I've got all this because I had inherited so much. Um, I used to actually do it for a living where I helped people downsize that were moving into uh, either a nursing home or a retirement community. So there are certain things that you can know to, to help people downsize what they have. So if you like any of that, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, become a member. That'd be awesome. Um, there's plenty of videos to watch too, if you like the kittens and see how they've grown in a year. And as I said in the very beginning, if you saw something you like, by all means, please put the number or number, sorry, the letter in the comment section. And I will then invoice you if I already know you, if you don't, then, um, look in the description for this video and it will have the um it will have my email in the description and if i forget to do that it is if you click to the about section of my channel my phone number and my address are on there all right i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you enjoy all the cookbooks i figured they would be a nice surprise to give you a themed sale <laughs> that was not crafting <laughs> for a, for a change. All right, you guys all have a great week. Goodbye.